Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 8. So we are here in a in a flash, I guess you could say. It almost feels like uh, feels like that because it only does feel like yesterday that we were all strapping ourselves in to watch Armageddon towards the end of last year. And then, of course, we had that much longer than usual break before the rest of Season 8 started rolling out for us, you know, after Armageddon. And now the final three episodes of this season are upon us, with the most recent episode, though being filler for the most part, setting up the final storyline in these final three episodes on the side throughout that episode, with there being this new speedster in town, that eventually being revealed to be Dr. Mina Darwin. But of course, the Eobard Thorn that had his powers taken away in Armageddon also came back in that episode and came back into play as Barry visited him in, you know, in this, in his like uh, Lian Yu based Supermax prison, because Barry thought either it might be Thorn or he might know what's up. Now we have heard since Armageddon started playing out on our screens that though he, you know, have all these individual graphic novels and storylines playing out, Armageddon will connect to what's playing out at the end of this season. So we are seeing Airbar Thorn, Iris's Time Sickness, maybe among some other things, connecting from all the way at the start of the season to all the way at the end. Like one thing that was set up that hasn't come back into a, in, into play, for example, is that like Joe has the time stone that was given to him by Damien Dark. So will that be used around the end of this season? And if so, in what way? Like I'm very interested to see how everything plays out as a whole and just what surprises are still in store for us to experience. But in this video, we are going to be going over the first teaser that's been released for the season eight finale by the CW, which dropped uh, like a few days ago from when this video came out, as well as a teaser for episode 19, the second last episode, and then also some promo images for this week's episode, episode 18, uh, which of course had its trailer come out a few days ago, which featured a very, 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 maybe one more, very surprising return one that I don't think anyone saw coming, that of course being the OG or original Eobard Thorn, played by Matt Ledger, who hasn't been seen on The Flash since episode one of season three. Yeah, like over uh, like 120 episodes ago, I think it is. Like, I think that was like the 45th or 46th episode that the show had. And this is like the 160 something. Like, I think it might be almost like 170. Been ages. He's been shown like flashback footage, but not actually being in an episode. It's been that long. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts, opinions, theories, everything like that. Always curious to read what you guys are thinking and just how you think certain things will play out. I'm always curious to read it. And of course, if you enjoy the video, you know, you're looking forward to any of this stuff and just want to show your support, why not drop a like on the video to do all that? So we will leave the primer images until later. So let's start with the episode 19 synopsis. And though I was, I think, the first to reveal the supposed titles of the final two episodes of this season, which were negative part one and negative part two at the time, there is a slight change. Episode 19 and 20 will be known as negative book one and book two, not part one and part two, which is a random title to randomly include like book something as the flash has never done that. That was more of like a black lightning thing. If you watch a black lightning, they always had like book one and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, here is a synopsis or description for episode 19 of season eight of the flash negative book one. The flash and team are in for the fight of their lives. Meanwhile, Iris discovers the cause of her time sickness. So I know we shouldn't jump to conclusions for an episode before it airs because you can just take a massive L if you do that. But based off this synopsis, it seems that maybe in this week's episode, episode 18, that, well, you know what, will hit the fan. I was talking about this in my trailer breakdown for episode 18 that we, of course, have like the OG by Thorne working in Fast Track Labs alongside Dr. Mina Darwan and that he is the one behind the machine that has given her, you know, her speed. But we also did see a shot of Barry lying down on like some dirt amongst leaves and some trees in the background by the looks of it. And while this could easily be Barry training Mina in like an isolated area, it could also be on Leanne Yu, where the imprisoned version of Eobard Thorn maybe has now escaped and most likely got speed again. And of course, we know thanks to set photos, which I won't bring up again, just in case people who haven't seen them don't want to see them, that Eobard... Well, it has leveled up. He, he levels up, fitting in with the theme of a lot of characters this season. So maybe if that part that, you know, with Barry as the Flash on the Dirt 4 is on the NU, maybe we see this first example of leveled up Eobard, which would then fall into the synopsis for the following episode where Barry realizes that he is, you know, up against something and someone that he hasn't had to deal with before. 
at least on the show by himself without any like, like other major heroes, like a Superman, a Supergirl, a Green Arrow and all of them. Now, there is the other option that maybe when he's on the dirt there, once again, it's only getting new and he's having to use his powers to fight someone, but maybe he's fighting the OG Eobard Thorn. Maybe that OG Eobard Thorn gets or has speed the entire time and has been fooling Barry throughout the episode and he goes there to help his other version, if that makes sense. Maybe that's what's playing out. As I said, don't want to jump to conclusions too early because I'd rather just watch the episode and experience it all, but maybe that's a little bit of what's going on there. Now, of course, the synopsis also mentions that Iris is back um, and that like she discovers like the cause of her time sickness. Uh, I'm not too sure if like she gets back just in this episode or maybe at the end of this week's episode, episode 18, maybe towards the end, she just reappears. Not too sure how they're going to handle it. But in regards to the cause of her time sickness, it has to be Thorn. Now, in regards to which version, that's another question, but I'd just say Thorn is like a loose you know, target or uh, person to blame it on because Eric Wallace, the showrunner for The Flash, did say in an interview that what's going on with Iris is connected to the villain of the final storyline and that clearly seems to be Thorn. Though he could have been like, you know, putting a bit of twist on there because maybe like the final villain is the imprisoned Thorn, but maybe the person that was behind Iris's t- time sickness is like the OG Eobard Thorn. Maybe there's a bit of a mix up there on purpose to confuse us and maybe mislead us a bit, not spoil it while also sort of spoiling it at the same time. So maybe that's what's going on there, but I think we'll get a hint this week um, if maybe the OJ Eobard Thorn is involved in any way, shape or form. But let's move on to the finale, which we also got the synopsis for. And of course, as I said, this is entitled Negative Book Two. With The Flash still reeling from everything that just happened, the rest of the team rallies to support him when he needs it the most. So firstly, what the hell happened? Or I guess the right way to put it would be, I guess, what the hell did Thorn do? Because it must have been something big. Like, I mean, let me know what you think he could have done that would have the Flash like still reeling and maybe in shock and, you know, a bit put off or whatever it might be. But I think whatever it is will happen in those final five minutes or so, um, you know, five final five or so minutes, I guess you could say, of the previous episode or this week's episode in order to leave... Uh, oh, no, sorry, in episode 19 it would be, not this week's episode, in episode 19 in order to leave us with like one heck of a cliffhanger leading into this finale. My only real theory, because I think this would be pretty big and it would also have long lasting implications. It could be that he just kills a lot of public people, which I think would just be a bit lame because they're like, I say this loosely, but like they're not that important. Like we don't, they don't have a name. It's not like, oh, there's Jerry or there, there's, there's, you know, there's Samantha or whatever. Like they're not important. However, my only real theory is that maybe he kills and or absorbs the other forces like the still force the sage force and the strength force maybe killing their avatars in the process so you'll see Dion die you'll see alexa die who is the strength force you'll see bashir die who is the sage force maybe you see them die when you know earbud absorbs their powers or maybe he has to kill them to absorb them we know that the actors at least for Dion and alexa were there and i think the bashir one was as well but i'm not 100% sure still at this point if he was but we know that at least in regards to someone we haven't seen this season that Alexa the strength force or Fueza she was on set so we know those actors were there towards the end of the season now I'm not 100% sure whether they filmed during the finale so maybe they die in episode 19 so that's where I'm leaning because I think that would be a big oh damn moment Now, obviously it says uh, the rest of the team rallies around Barry. So who is this rest of the team? Are they talking about Cecile? They're talking about Allegra? They're talking about Chester? Well, I guess, yeah, but also we have guest appearances this episode. So we know obviously that we have Fast Track, Mina Darwin. So we know she's going to be playing a part in that most uh, likely. Then we know that Impulse, Bart, XS, Nora, and Jay Garrick, they're showing up. So we're going to have like a big Flash family fight as well. Similar to last season, um, hopefully not as memed. (laughs) because <laughs> there was a bit of memeage going on. Even though I thought that final fight was seen was pretty cool. It was, all, it was all the other stuff before that got memed. I think that actual fight was pretty cool. So hopefully we get something similar to that actually this season, uh, but maybe just a better because you can always improve. Now, is this the end of Thorn? That's always going to be the discussion going into this final thing. They brought back Matt Letcher. You know, it feels like we're leading up to this end game, if you want to call it, with Thorn. They said that they planned season eight, you know, the finale to be a series finale, if that was going to be the case. So were they building up to be, you know, for this to be the end of at least the Tom Kavanagh version of Eobard Thorn and have this big thing? I'm going to say yes. I'm leaning towards that. Like, I would be surprised if that didn't happen. Actually, I want to say it wouldn't be, I would, I'd be surprised if it didn't happen, but I, I just think it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, oh, okay, they didn't do it. You know, I'd be, I'd be less surprised 
if he if this was the end. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. But yeah, I think they're just building up to it pretty well. And uh, I'm curious to see how it's handled. And of course, in the finale, we know we're getting this, you know, surprise cameo. I'm putting money on either Superman or Max Mercury. I'd, if I had 10 bucks, I'd put $5 on either one, either one of them. That's probably what I'd do. Just because they name dropped Max earlier on. It's been teased that like no one's going to be able to guess it. But that was before the Max name drop. I think it was like maybe like two weeks before, three weeks before or something like that. So... My money's a Max Mercury, but because Diggle's also appearing in the Superman or Lois finale, maybe they're trying to do some connective stuff. Like, you didn't know Diggle's, that came out in the news, like an official news thing that Diggle's in the Superman or Lois season two finale. So, for people saying uh, Superman or Lois was in the Arrowverse, well, you're lost. <laughs> I don't know which way to put it. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. I think it's going to be Max Mercury or Superman. I'm leaning towards Max, though. But to finish up the video, we have some promo images for episode 18. Nothing overly surprising because I think they didn't include anything spoilery just in case the promo images came out before the trailer, which sometimes happens. So we just have Chester and Allegra working here and we see Barry with Cecile. Now, I wonder they're using um, Cecile um, because they say in the synopsis that her powers they, like grow a bit to help them out. I wonder if they're trying to sense if like this Matt Letcher Eobard Thorne is telling the truth and maybe he's hiding something or whether he's being genuine. So it wouldn't surprise me too much if that's the case with what they're doing with Cecile in this episode. But outside of that, there's nothing overly interesting there. But then there are some primary images of Barry in Fast Track Labs with Mina Darwan. You know, got Barry happy, smiling, going, man, this is cool. I wouldn't mind helping here. I wouldn't mind working here. Screw Star Labs. But then there's also one here where you can see Barry going like, oh, this is like, you can tell from the trailer that this is the moment that Matt Letcher, you know, he's, he's here by Thorn walks in the room. Barry's like, what the hell are you doing here? But also like just in silent shock at the same time. But also in the next primary images, which just, and this thing was also in the background of the previous one, but this appears to be in the machine that Mina goes into to get like temporary speed. Um, I'm interested to see how it works. Um, yeah, I'm just intrigued to see how it works as a whole. And obviously the whole discussion about whether this is like the proto or like the alpha um, sort of like test thing for the negative speed force. And also we've got like negative is the titles for the final two parts of this season. So maybe it is. I'm not too, like, there's this big question about whether this is the legitimate reverse flash origin story and they're changing it up for the show. And Barry tries to avoid creating reverse flash, but unintentionally it's like one of those, it's just always going to happen. It's just one of those inevitable things that's going to happen. Barry's going to create reverse flash through whatever it means it is. And I think that maybe they're doing that in this you know, in this storyline here on the side, alongside potentially ending Tom Kavanagh's run as Reverse Flash as well. So I can't wait to see how it plays out. I think we'll get some hints probably in this week's episode, but obviously in episode 19 and 20 is when it's going to go full speed ahead. Um, but I can't wait. I'm really excited. Probably it's probably the most excited I've been for an end of a season since like probably season, I'd say probably season four because season four set up their finale pretty well and how it was all going to, you know, tee off and wrap up and there's all the mystery around Nora as well like the mystery girl at that time so this is probably the most excited I've been about to wrap up to a season since season four so can't wait to see how they do it but yeah guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it show your support let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions about everything always curious to read what you guys are thinking and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later goodbye